What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different and I actually went on the roster vaults today and found a roster that actually really kind of piqued my interest a little bit. So we're gonna be checking it out. So a couple days ago, I got an Instagram DM basically telling me that he put a roster with me and a bunch of other YouTubers onto one team and we're gonna try to win a World Series with that team. And I was like, hey, nobody's ever made me inside on the show. So I figured, you know what? Let's go for it. So I went ahead and downloaded the roster and here we go. This is gonna be my first time seeing it too. So I'm pretty excited to see what other YouTubers are on here. Now this is like also of the show characters i'm hoping that we get bobby crosby and I'm hoping that we get mighty go because both of those guys are so stacked up and road of the show it'd be perfect for a world series so that's what i'm hoping for and i'm also excited to see what my stats are let's see here we go so in the instagram dm he basically told me to use the astro so that's what we're going to be doing today it's pretty obvious they're ranked first and pretty much everything besides pitching so here we go let's go ahead and check who's going to be on the team real quick in the comments i want you guys to guess if there's a full offense of youtubers there's got to be at least eight others because i'm one but there's got to be eight more youtubers that are going to be on this team so real quick go ahead and comment down below who you think it is let's go ahead and get into this oh goodness so here we go first off pitching is pretty much the exact same as the astros normal pitching there's pretty much no difference here we got justin verlander zach granke lance mccullers all those guys but besides that nobody different but the lineup is what we're gonna go ahead and check out so here we go three two one Oh, baby, look at that. So technically, instead of nine, it's just eight. We are missing that DH. I wish he could have made one more guy, but it's fine. And we also got YouTube themselves as our first baseman. Okay, well, here we go. But hey, I'm hitting second, though. Look at that. I'm a lefty, which isn't technically correct, but that's fine. Again, no one really knows this stuff, so I'm not worried about it. It's still super cool nonetheless. But the weird thing is, and what's actually kind of creepy, is I was a third baseman for pretty much my entire playing career. I was a third baseman and shortstop pretty much for 13 years, so that's kind of nuts that he actually got that. But either way, from top to bottom, let's just go ahead and check this thing out. It's pretty safe to say we're gonna win a World Series, to be honest, but still, here we go. From top to bottom, we got Bobby Crosby. Dodger Films, this dude is such a beast. There's been, what, 800 and something episodes of Bobby Crosby? It's been one of the best road of the show series in the entirety of be the show. I love Bobby Crosby. I've been watching him for so freaking long. The next one up is going to be me. We're batting second. We're not 99 on everything like Bobby Crosby, but that is 100% fine because this dude just frankly is on all the steroids. And I consider myself more natural, baby. There we go. We're pretty much 80s though in everything. Also, my height's 6'2", 210. I will take it, okay? Nobody else look into that. I will take 6'2", okay? I'm 100% 6'2". Yeah. The next one up is actually going to be Brett Barrett. TD Barrett, dude, look at this. Yo, tell me why that face is actually somewhat close. That's kind of creepy. Yo, you got to be honest. That's a little creepy. But we do got Brett Barrett on the team. Again, 99 everything. Such a legend in the road of the show community, so I'm super excited for this. Batting fourth, we actually have Healy, which I did not know. We're actually going to have Healy on this team, but hey, I'm down for it. Stephen Healy. Again, 99 everything. I'm starting to see a trend that everybody else is 99 everything, and we're just 80, so what's going on there? But it's fine. Right below him, we got our right fielder, Mighty Go. Oh my goodness. You know what's crazy? Me and Mighty Goat actually started like LB the Show content around the same time. We both started in LB16 and it's kind of crazy to see how far he's come. The man deserves honestly all the success. He was posting like three videos a day for so long. Now he's back to two, but the guy is still killing it. So I got to give it to him. Mighty Goat, you are the goat, baby. So I'm excited to have him on the team as well. We also got YouTube. So straight up just Susan on the team. So it's fine. And then behind the dish, we actually got Dorsal Finn. This is a guy that I recently started watching. I like his content. The guy's a beast. And then of course, in center field, we got Fuzz as a 97. Okay. I mean, overall, let's be honest. This team's going to be winning all the World Series, okay? This offense is going to be 1,000% disgusting. But to be honest, for me personally, I'm just hoping that we don't suck, okay? I'm hoping that we could either be the top or at least just in the middle. I just hope we're not on the bottom of the entire team because that would absolutely suck. Technically, I'm already on the bottom in sub count, so I want to make sure that we're not going to be on the bottom stats-wise, okay? Let's go. But if you guys are enjoying this so far and you guys like the idea, go ahead and leave a like on it. Subscribe down below if you guys have not already. We recently hit 30,000 subscribers which is absolutely insane but we're going for 40 now which is still a very long ways away but i'm hoping that we can get there pretty soon so i'd appreciate it if you guys hit that red subscribe button okay let's go ahead and get this thing started again we are playing as the astros so i'm sure a lot of you guys aren't very excited about that there's still a lot of people at least in my community that are still very upset with the astros but i didn't really have anything to do with it so don't take it out on me in the comments okay let's go we by far have the best offense in all of baseball the pitching is still very very good but it's not exactly where it used to be but let's see what happens i'm still super super excited about this. Let's go. Also, I kind of want to do a player lock as myself a little bit later in the episode. I think we might do that because I want to try to see what my batting sense is going to be like. And if it's anywhere close to what it actually is, I'm calling the authorities, okay? Because we got a stalker on our hands. I swear to God. 
But right now through July 1st, we're 63 and 21. Again, just so freaking good. I would honestly not be surprised if we take 120 wins this year. That would honestly just make a bunch of sense. If we end up breaking the record, like 100% that's gonna happen. But hey, real quick, since it is the Home Run Derby and it's the All-Star Weekend, let's go ahead and see how everybody is doing on the team. Come on. I'm gonna be real upset with me if I'm not doing good. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Come on, boys. And, well, we're not doing the greatest, but it's not horrible either, I guess. The average is still pretty low. Is everybody else doing good, though? It looks like everybody else is doing very, very good. Okay, well, you know. I guess we just can't have it all. It's fine. What are you gonna do? But from top to bottom, we're leading off with me, so I guess I'm hitting 20 home runs, 51 RBIs, and a 265. I mean, not completely horrible. I'll take it. I definitely kind of wish we were doing a lot better, but what are you gonna do? Next up, Healy's got five home runs, 13 RBIs, and a 375. I'm sure he was injured, so I'm not worried about it. Actually, I know 100% he was injured because he only has 64 at bats. Below him, then we got Bobby Crosby, 34 home runs, 74 RBIs, and a 337. Jesus Christ. I mean, Bobby Crosby's hopped up on all those Mexican supplements. Okay, let's be honest here. Next up, Brett Barrett doing fantastic. Mighty Goat doing very good as well. YouTube, for some reason, killing it. Susan, great freaking job there. We got Dorsal Finn doing pretty good as well. And then Fuzzy, pretty much where we are around that same stat line. So I really don't mind this. We're doing fantastic hitting wise. Let's keep this thing going. Also, it is the All-Star game. So real quick, I want to go ahead and see what type of votes we got. I want to see if we even got voted into the All-Star game. I mean, 20 home runs at the All-Star game. That's still very, very good, but I'm sure there's somebody else out there that's doing better. So let's go ahead and check it. Behind the dish though, we got Dorsal Fink getting 525,000 votes. He's going to be the starter. Fantastic. First base, we got YouTube coming in second behind Carlos Santana. Okay. At second base, we got Hernandez. I'm sure if Healy was playing the full year, he would have gotten it, but Hernandez got it right now. And then here we go. Third base is coming up. Let's see if we actually got it. I highly doubt it, but let's see. Three, two, one. We came in second. Oh my goodness, dude. Also, I got 24 stolen bases. I will take it. Okay. How many times did I get caught though? Six times. Hey, that's not bad though. Six for 24. I'll take that. Also, I think I'm the only person on the team that has no bunt and no drag bunt. So, hey, I appreciate that. I got coached by Cap Murphy. We do not bunt out here. Okay. We only hit dingers. Don't wake daddy. But again, we are about 30,000 votes behind Anthony Rendon. So there's really nothing I could do there. I mean, Rendon's got like a 5.3 war and we got a 3.8. So it definitely makes sense. But still, I want to see though, if I'm going to be even included in this all-star game, let's go ahead and check. And I'm actually the starting second baseman. Wait a minute. I'm going to be the starting second baseman and I'm hitting first. Okay. Yeah, we're doing this. I'm player locking. Let's go. Let me go all the way back real quick and go in through the player lock. Let's go. Here we are. It was kind of weird playing as myself though in franchise. And I didn't make myself like I've made myself plenty of times in other MLB games, but like Somebody else making me? Hey, I'm down for it. And I'm facing Clayton Kirk. Look at me. Wait a minute. What the heck? The face is definitely a little bit off unless I just look like the most generic white person in the history of the world, which could be true. I mean, hey, I mean, I am very pacey. That might be it. But real quick, let's go ahead and check the cameras. I have to see what my batting sense is going to be like. OK, I have to see. We're going to change out of strike zone and please don't be bad. All right, let's go. OK, well, you know. I would say that's definitely not the worst. We kind of look like a, uh, a lefty hour pool holes, so I'll take that. But hey, we still got this, baby. We're down 0-2 because I was talking the entire time. And we almost struck out in our first plate appearance in the All-Star game. That would have been absolutely horrible. But come on. First Clayton Kershaw, too. This is going to be tough. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That was a perfect perfect. Go. Go. Oh, baby. Like Cat Murphy always said, we only hit dingers, baby. Let's go. Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. Talk about a leadoff hitter in the All-Star game. Let's get it, baby. Look at this. Just the most generic white person hits a bomb. Let's go, dude. Off of Clayton Kershaw, too. All right, here we go. We're back. Top of the third, and we're actually down by one. We still got a guy on first base, though. That's going to be Carlos Santana. Let's try to hit him in. And also, who the heck is pitching? Walker Bueller. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. I'm power swinging. You best believe. That's going to be outside. Never mind. But I am a 1,000% going to power swing. You best believe, baby. Let's go. Got the L1. Perfect. Oh, my. God. Again, we're on All-Star. I don't know why the heck they're just pitching us these pitches, but I will definitely take it. We're getting meatballs, baby. Two home runs on the day, and that's a two-run bomb taking the lead. Let's get it, dude. Every single RBI in the All-Star game has come from us, from the American League side. Let's go. Maybe I actually need to be a lefty and actually do this batting stance, and maybe I'll hit a lot of home runs. Hey, we're back in the field again. Arenado hitting it straight to us. Again, like... Easy peasy. Let's go. Just like the Evan Longoria plays from back in the day. Oh, that actually kind of gave me Longo flashbacks. Okay. Like just rushing the ball and then throwing its sidearm across your body. Let's go, dude. We're a fielding beast. And again, we're back. Top of the fifth. And that's going to be caught probably, right? Or not. Oh my God. Go, go, go. Get in there to second. Go get in there. 
Oh my goodness, there we are. So we've hit two home runs, gotten three RBIs, and now we just got a double. Jesus Christ. Also, you best believe I'm gonna try to steal this base. Go, go, go. Oh God, wait a minute, go back. Back, 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 back. I'm gonna get thrown out. Oh no, I got picked off. God dang it. And we were pinched hit for the end of the game. You know what? That's fine. We got to give the rest of these guys some playing time, so that is fine with me. But we went five to three. Let's go, dude. Again, we should be MVP of the game, right? Come on. We should be. There we are. Perfect. Player of the game goes to us. We got three at bats, three hits, two home runs, and three runs batted in, baby. What a showing. What a freaking showing. But we still got a long, long ways to go. We're at the tread deadline pretty much. There we go. And we got 85 wins on July 31st. It's pretty safe to say we're going to break the record like a thousand percent. Let's go. And also, if we don't break the record when we're at 108 wins on September 8th, there's a big problem here. Let's go. Come on, guys. Just went out the rest of the year. There we go. 120 and 42. I mean, the team went off. We got the best offense in all of baseball, like 100%. Let's go ahead and see how everybody ended up doing, though. We got Healy hitting 17 home runs with a 301. Not bad. And then we got myself. What do you guys think we're going to finish off at? Do you guys think I got above 35 home runs? I kind of hope I did, to be honest, because if I didn't, that's going to be big sad. But let's see. Three, two, one, 41, baby. Hey, we got that juice. We got that freaking juice, baby. Let's go. 41 home runs, 95 RBIs, and a 262. I will take it. Hitting third, we got Brett Barrett hitting 47 home runs. My God. And then Bobby Crosby hitting 46. Dude, oh my goodness. This team is too freaking nice with it. Mighty Go hitting 41 home runs. Dorsal Finn doing very good. And then Fuzzy hitting 39. We are all on steroids. I don't care what anybody says. We are all on all the steroids. We're on every single testosterone pill you could find. We're on everything. But here we go. Going to be facing the Angels in the ALDS. I feel so bad, but let's go ahead and do it. Zach Granke versus Andrew Heaney. Well, now in 11 to 7. Lance McCullers versus Griffin. Lost that one, actually. Griffin Canning actually kept our offense to one run. Now, real quick, that's actually insane. We got to be honest. That's disgusting. Okay, well, either way, Felix Payne versus Jose. Well, now in 13 to 10. And then Verlander versus Jamie. We actually lost. How? How do we lose with Verlander on the mound? Verlander is like the Astros' dad. How do we actually lose that? My man actually sucked. Had an 8.44 ERA. Jesus, Verlander. Okay. My dude wants to go home to his family early in October. And to be honest, I understand. If your family is Kate Upton, yeah, I get it. Okay? I understand, but still, we got to win some games. What are we doing here? But either way, game five, we're going for the quick manage. I got to see how our guys perform when I'm watching them. So let's go ahead and see. Again, versus lefty with Andrew Heaney. The guy's got a 17 ERA. I'm hoping for an absolute slugfest out of our guys. Let's go. It all starts with Healy and then us right here. Come on, mate. Let's go. And we grinded into a double play. All right, dude. Sick. Well, either way, let's go, boys. Let's bring it back a little bit. My bad. And Brian Goodwin out of everybody hits a bomb. Okay. Guys, let's bring it back a little bit. Healy, thank you. We walked. That's perfect. Brett Barrett doubles us in, though. Perfect, baby. Let's go. I'm feeling the synergy. Let's keep this thing going. We scored four runs in the bottom of the fifth because Dorsal Finn hit a grand freaking slam. My guy. That's what I'm talking about. Mighty Go doubles us in. We got nine runs on the board already. Let's go, dude. This game is over. I can tell you guys that much. Let's just go ahead and finish this thing off real fast because, I mean, come on. I don't think the Angels are going to be coming back whatsoever. So, real quick, top of the ninth, Chris Davinsky, just take it. There we go, baby. Going to be facing the Yankees now in the ALCS. Oh, God. All right, so game one versus Garrett Cole. The guy's been slicing and dicing every single time. Let's see what happens. Lost that one. Okay, one to five. Game two, I guess. Won that one. Perfect. Game three, lost that one. Game four, won that one. Game five, perfect. And come on, last one. Game six, won that one. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm freaking talking about. Now we got the Dodgers in the World Series. Oh my goodness. This is where we got to be on our A game, baby. Okay, come on. Zach Granke versus Walker Buehler for game one. Won that one eight to two. Lance McCullers versus Clayton Kershaw. Lost that one eight to nine. Okay. Jose versus Julio. Lost that one as well. Okay, we're down one to two. Verlander versus Price. Won that one 19 to one. Oh my goodness. Let me check this box score real quick. I have to see it. Healy had five RBIs. We had two. Barrett had two. Oh my goodness, guys. Yeah, look at that. Healy had two home runs. We had a home run. Mighty Go had two home runs. Oh my goodness, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 19 to one though. That is disgusting. We got game six coming up and we have to watch our boys win this World Series. Okay, let's go. We got Lance McCullers on the mound and for some reason, the guy's got a six ear right throughout the entire entire postseason. So our guys are going to need to help him tremendously. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. And Cody Bellinger already with a two run home run. Alrighty, boys. We could bring it back, I believe. Come on. Solo home run from Dorsal Finn. That is what I'm talking about. Let's get it. My voice is dying. You guys already know. 
And then Mookie bats with the bomb. Okay, not great. Come on, guys. Let's bring it back just a little bit. We get another single. That's what I'm talking about. And the run scores. Perfect. All right, let's get uh, let's get McCullers out of there real quick. That'd be perfect if we can get him out. Okay, never mind. That might have been bad. We probably should have kept him in, to be honest. But whatever. What are we going to do? It's 5-2 to two in the bottom of the eighth. We got to come back versus Dylan Floro. We got this. Okay, come on. And never mind, it's versus Kenley Jansen. This might be a little bit harder than I thought. Bottom of the ninth with one out, Aledmus Diaz got a ground out. Okay, Healy, come on, get on base. Solo bomb, that's what I'm talking about. It all comes down to us now. Come on, get on base, me, please. And we didn't, all right. Well, big letdown. Going into game seven, we got Austin Pruitt on the mound for game seven. That's gotta change, okay? Now you guys probably won't know Austin Pruitt because he really wasn't all that known and it was for good reason. Austin Pruitt was actually a reliever on the Rays and let's just say he wasn't necessarily the best reliever. I would say the guy wasn't very popular in the entire Rays fan base and we kind of rejoiced when the guy left, but it's fine. Either way, let's go ahead and get this thing started. We got Zach Ranker on the mound. I feel like that'd be a lot better. Let's see what happens. Come on, boys. Game seven, we gotta bring the heat. And as I'm saying that, Jock Peterson hits a two run home run. Okay, dude. Come on, guys, this is versus postseason Kershaw. We should have this in the bag. Me, please. And we ground out. I'm really choking, to be honest. And when I say that, I mean like me. I'm really choking here. Will Smith with a bomb. Oh my goodness. Okay, Granky's day is done. Guys, we gotta come back a little bit. What are we doing here? I ground out again. Oh my goodness. When the lights are on, I'm choking. What is this? I really gotta bring it back. Our entire team's choking right now. Look at Kershaw's energy right now. It's the bottom of the ninth. The guy's pitched a whole game, and he's not even half energy yet. Oh my god, we're just letting this man rest like crazy. Healy, it all starts with you. Come on, baby. Ground out. Okay, me, please. And a strikeout. Oh my god. We got bested by postseason Kershaw. The guy went nine innings with five strikeouts. Oh my goodness. Well, real quick, who won all the awards this year? Brett Bear with the Air Rookie of the Year. Okay, I could see that coming from a mile away. Bobby Crosby with the Hank Aaron Award. Again, could see that from a mile away. Gold Gloves going to Brett Barrett and Bobby Crosby. Again, goodness gracious. Cy Young going to Justin Verlander. Okay. Ozuna for the Delivery Man of the Year. And then, Playoff MVP going to Brett Barrett. My goodness, this team is stacked. Well, definitely not the ending that I wanted whatsoever for 2020. So we're going back again. We're going to try to win a World Series. And let's see what the heck can happen. All right, let's go. Also, what is this? I'm an all-star making $50,000 a year. Oh, God, dude. I might be the only guy on the American League all-star team that's making $50,000 a year. And like, honestly, in real life, 50K is not bad. But 50K for an all-star in the MLB is god-awful. So I'm legit the only guy probably in all of baseball on the all-star team that's making $50,000. Not to mention, it's for the next four years as well. So we practically have nothing, dude. Oh my goodness. How the heck is everybody else doing though? Zach Granke, Bobby Crosby, all these guys are making millions a year. Guys, can I have a little bit of a loan, please? Like, oh my goodness. And by loan, I mean you guys give me a bunch of money and I just don't pay it back. That'd be great. Either way though, we're going to be keeping the exact same team. This team can win a bunch of games. We sadly lost in game seven of the World Series, but to be honest, did we deserve it for 2017? I feel like we did. So now that the game is all evened out, we're going to be ready to go. So 2021, here we come. Again, the team's looking the exact same. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. The only thing I am a little bit worried about is the pitching staff, so I might actually have to help them a little bit with that. But besides that, we're ready to go and we're gonna try to win this World Series in 2021. Let's get this thing going, baby, come on. 569 seconds later. All right, so we're back July 11th of 2021. Let's go ahead and see how everybody is doing and what happened, am I injured? I'm on the bench? Oh, you best believe what's going on here. I had to be injured, there's no way. Real quick, hold up. There's 32 of these things. I wanna be going through all of them just to make sure that I was not injured. No, I found it. God dang it. I must have taken an absolute missile off this shin. I got a broken shin and I was out for one to two months. Oh my God, guys. Well, get me back in, coach. I'm ready to play. Let's go. Get Gray out of there. But either way, let's go ahead and check and see how everybody else is doing. Healy doing fire. Me, I mean, pretty good so far out of 102 at bats. Got 11 home runs, 21 RBIs, and a 324. We're doing good considering we just got like a missile off the kneecap. So, whatever. Bobby Crosby, fantastic. Brett Barrett doing very good as well. YouTube, again, Susan, fantastic. Money Guy doing good as well. Dorsal Finn doing fantastic. And then Fuzzy doing very, very good as well. Okay, boys. Let's keep it up. I'm also going to have to help quite a bit with some pitchers real quick, so I might as well do that now. Because my guy, Justin Verlander, has now completely fallen off, so we desperately need somebody new, so let's go for it. And actually, this is pretty weird, but we got to go for one guy. And Zach Wheeler, who I've never really gotten because he's always been way too expensive for me, is actually a guy that we could possibly get right now, and he's doing very, very well. Not to mention, we're getting rid of Justin Verlander's contract, which is kind of nuts for a guy that's like a 69 overall. You know what? I'm going to do it. Why not? Screw it. I've actually never gotten Zach Wheeler in any sort of like video like this, so 
We're going to try him out. We're going to see how he is. He is definitely going to help quite a bit, though. I'll tell you guys that. And then also, I know this is probably going to be unpopular, but Josh James in this game completely sucks. The guy's got a low walks per nine, so of course that's going to happen. Let's just go ahead and try to get somebody else for him. So we're going to be actually doing this trade with the Yankees. Again, in real life, this would be an absolutely horrible trade, but for this game right now, we need somebody that's going to be really, really good, not to mention a lefty. And that's Jordan Montgomery. So there we go. Going to be getting him. So now that's looking a lot better. Lance McCullers, Zach Granke, Jordan Montgomery, and then Zach Wheeler. Let's go. So let's go ahead and get to the second half of the season. I'm ready to go. Let's try to win this World Series. I got a good feeling. Okay, I really do. 569 seconds later. Going to be taking on the winner of the wild card game. And that is either going to be Oakland or Boston. Okay. But before that happens, let's go ahead and see how everybody did in 2021. Brett Barrett, of course. Fantastic. Us. Very good, actually, for missing like half the season. I'm down. Bobby Crosby hit 50 home runs. And to be honest, this is considered low for him because the guy hits like hundreds and hundreds a year. But still, fantastic from him. Healy hitting 44. Fantastic, guys. Everybody doing good. I mean, come on. What are we doing here? Everybody fantastic. But this time, what are the awards going to be looking like? Hank Aaron Award going to Bobby Crosby again. And... Gold glove going to Bobby. Okay. Besides that, nobody else got anything. Alrighty. Well, that kind of sucks. Let's just go in. Oakland or Boston. I got a feeling it's probably going to be Boston. Yep, there we go. Alrighty. We got McCullers versus Eduardo Rodriguez for game one. Come on, boys. Lost that one 4 to 16. McCullers is such a bad postseason pitcher. I don't understand. At least in this game. I think in real life, he's not bad, but like, come on. Game two, Montgomery versus Daniel Norris. Won that one. Perfect. Zach Wheeler versus Chris Sale. Okay, barely won that one. Lance McCullers again versus Alex Wood, and we won that one. Perfect. Okay, now we're facing the Yankees. It's not going to get any easier. All righty. Montgomery versus Garrett Cole. Lost that one. So freaking close. Game two, Wheeler versus Severino. Lost that one as well. We got McCullers and Paxton for game three. Won that one. Perfect. Granky and Radon. Perfect. Jose and Garrett Cole. Oh my God, how? And then game six, Jordan Montgomery and Luis Severino. Oh my God, facing the Dodgers once again. We gotta get the revenge now, 100%, we gotta go. I really don't like McCullers starting game one, but we kinda have to do it, so McCullers, come on. Won that one, perfect, that's exactly what I needed. Montgomery versus Walker Bueller. Oh my goodness, it's happening. Okay, Granky versus Kershaw, won that one. How the heck did that happen? Okay, here we go, we got this. Zach Wheeler versus David Price, let's do it. Come on boys, let's go. I'm gonna need all the hype in the comments, let's get it. I'm gonna need our guys to take the early lead right about now, and we ground out again. Oh my goodness, our guy definitely sucks in the postseason, okay? I've seen this guy get nothing but ground outs and singles, that's about it. And in the top of the fifth, Zach Wheeler hits a double. Okay, come on, Brett, hit him in. Oh my goodness, there we go. We're leading off right now in the top of the eighth versus Blake Trinan. Come on, we're 0 for 3. Get a hit, please. Actually, versus Ross Stripling now. Come on, get a hit, please. Strike out. Oh my goodness. And then Bobby Crosby, it's a home run. Oh, come on, guys. I mean, like, that's super, super good. I'm happy about that. But I want my guy, me. I want him to do good, okay? That's all I want. Either way, here we go. Bottom of the ninth, probably gonna be it right here. Zach Wheeler versus Cody Bellinger. Got him to ground out, which is huge. Miguel Sano right now. Got him to strike out, which is huge. And then David Peralta, I'm going in. All right, here we go. And we got white unis on. Are you kidding me? Come on. That just makes the whole thing look stupid. We got white pants and we're out here in LA. Come on, game. What are we doing here? But we get it. There we go. Mighty Go going to be getting the final. What the heck is that? That ball indicator is off completely. But there we go. The YouTubers have won the 2021 World Series, baby. Look at that. Look at all that. Also, look at me at the top of that pile. I look a little bit odd. I look like I'm doing something to my teammates that I definitely don't want to do. Okay. We're just gonna leave it at that. But hey, we win the 2021 World Series, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now, who the heck got player of the game though? That's the big question. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be Bobby Crosby. I mean, come on. Also, we got Ron Washington as our manager. Are you kidding me, dude? This guy's a hundred years old. I mean, hey, that's fine with me, but still, that's kind of nuts. But there we go, 2021 World Champs. Let's go ahead and see who won the player of the game. And the player of the game is actually Zach Wheeler. Completely deserved. What a beast. Let's go. Now, how about that postseason and World Series MVP? Who's gonna be getting that though? That's the real question. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be Brett Barrett again though. Let's be honest. There we go. Playoff MVP going to Brett Barrett and World Series MVP going to Brett Barrett. Makes sense. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you guys did, leave a like on it, subscribe down below. Again, big shout out to the guy that made this roster. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And that's gonna be it for me today. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.